hapon sa inyong tanan. One of the most important lessons I have learned as I navigate life and the same thing that I believe we should ponder upon as a one country united in our determination to overcome our difficulties and achieve our aspirations is that we should commit to the to heart the priorities of God, country, and family. My life is a testament to the power of a God whom we know by many names. My younger self was consumed by a dream to become a doctor. I pursued a pathway that I thought could help me realize that dream. But I was directed toward another way. And now, I am a lawyer. When I committed myself to governance and public service, I was also determined to finish three consecutive terms as mayor. That will not happen anymore. I am now the vice president-elect. The voice of 32.2 million Filipinos was loud and clear. With the message to serve our motherland. And this message has been reiterated in my oath to consecrate myself to the service of the nation. There is a God, a God whose will transcends the desires of our hearts, one whose will directs us to the way that we might not have imagined, but a way that consecrates ourselves every day to help our fellow men overcome the difficulties they face in their lives, to change lives, to save lives. If you all take a moment to listen to the call to serve and decide to heed the call in the same way that many are already devoting their lives as hardworking farmers and fisher folk that ensure that there is food on our tables, dedicated health workers who help the sick, brave soldiers who fight for our country, honest and fair entrepreneurs who support our economy, patient school teachers that guide our children. I believe the country will be heading towards a future of hope, security, strength, stability, and progress. Today, we celebrate the life and works of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. May his memory light up the fire within us to become patriots. Rizal taught us that selflessness and sacrifice could change our country's fate and shape our children's future. The bravery of Rizal completes the fabric of our identity as Filipinos. 
magkasama sana tayong bumangon bawat araw kasabay ang nag-aalab na pangako sa ating mga puso na mahal natin at patuloy nating mamahalin ang Pilipinas hanggang tayo ay nabubuhay. Let us show our love for our country by taking care of our families and communities despite the unending challenges that come their way. Today is Father's Day. This is a time for families. But you are here with me. Dagang salamat sa inyong pagtambong o pagkuyog kanako ni Ining Adlawa. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who make sure that another person is given the best of everything. Today, our children are facing a very complex future. One that is rife with conflict and uncertainties. Some of these challenges include the winding cycle of poverty, the trauma of broken families, the lifelong baggage because of irresponsible and bad parenting, the abandonment issues due to an absentee parent, the anguish of gender confusion and discrimination. The destruction brought about by drugs. The lure of easy money in criminality. Cases of HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases. The failure to identify and speak up against different kinds of abuses. The life-altering effects of teenage pregnancy. The detrimental effects of illiteracy. The emotional injury of bullying. Unstable mental wellness. Recruitment to support terrorism misinformation in the internet. The list could be endless. A strong, loving, happy family sets down all the basic foundations essential in the development and growth of a child. At home, parents have the duty to teach children the values of integrity, discipline, respect, and compassion for others. And we should never forget that it is the duty of each Filipino family to emphasize that education begins at home. Atong isilsil sa ilang alimpatakan na ang maayong pamatasan, edukasyon, o pagpaningkamot, maoy magdala kanila palayo sa kinabuhi nga puno o kalisod, padulong sa maayong kinabuhi nga ilang ginahandong. We should not, as we could not afford, to squander the future of our children. The days ahead may be full of challenges that call for us to be more united as a nation. But let me reiterate this. We can never go wrong if we are a people de dedicated to honoring the will of God to serving our country and our fellow men, and protecting the integrity of our families and the future 
of our children. Ako po si Inday Sara, a proud Dabawenya, a proud Mindanaoan. Hindi ako ang pinakamagaling o pinakamatalinong tao sa Pilipinas at sa mundo. Ngunit, walang makakatalo sa tibay ng puso ko bilang isang Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Dagang salamat.